Tom Heads. Thanks for tuning in. You know this cat, right? Does not purr dead loud. I mean, look at this, right? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, she's nice, you know. You know what really gets me when I go into supermarkets? Well, once I went into Rasda. This last one until serving me. Very opinionated she was. She says, um, because I was like buying loads of bloody cat food and all that. So at the time, my cat was dead fussy, he wasn't eating anything but bloody. Um, well, I tried on the Sheba dome tins. It had to be the domes. Didn't like chicken, didn't like beef, didn't like lamb, none of that crap. All it would eat was tuna and tuna and shrimp. So, and this woman says, um, Oh, one thing I don't like. And she pointed to me cat food. Uh, I didn't fancy having a big discussion about it, a big debate at the time. You know, I was in a bloody hoodie. I had a, I had a hot day at that night. So it was like, oh, what we do? I mean, what the hell's the matter with you? You don't like cats. How can you say that? I don't like cats. Um, so all cats are the same, are they? They've all got the same personalities. I don't flipping well think so. Come on, man. Animals are animals. We're all animals. Mammals, one way or another. You know what I mean? I mean, cats have got personalities. So have dogs. Mm. I mean, cats are more re resilient than dogs. More, a hell of a lot more, I'd say. I haven't gone away for a few fucking weeks, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm exaggerating. A few days. She'd be all right. You couldn't do that with a dog, though. You know what I mean? I haven't gone... I get up at six o'clock every morning for work. Well, except Sundays. And, um, you know, she gets lonely and all that, but... <gasps> That's not what it's about. It's about um, people's ignorance. I mean, you know, <clears throat> I've had to put up with shit all my fucking life, me. All my adult life. Oh, well, my childhood as well, but I'm not going to go into that just now, hammerheads, because no need. No need. Who used to say that on Radio 1? Oh, it was bloody, um, Mark Radcliffe, wasn't it? Oh, aye. But, you know, me, me mum and me stepdad, right, had this fucking Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, God, it must have been from, oh, they've had it since Jurassic times. And uh, inevitably, it passed away. That's what happens when your pets get very, very old, you know what I mean? And, and like, it's like, because my mum's in the 60s, my stepdad's in his 60s, and like, um, you know what they kept saying to me? You know what mum kept saying to us? She kept saying, she kept saying, you know what, when our pet dies, you know what she said to us? She says, um, he said, no, she, she says, bloody, uh, right, we're never going to get another dog. Not at our age, because it, it's like, um, oh, they're too much of a tie and all this business. That's what she said there is. And it's like, oh, oh God almighty. And then what happens? The dog dies, right? Because it's like, oh, it's got to be a million years old or something. I mean... It's bound to die. I mean, full of breads. I don't know, in my experience, dog-wise anyway, and cats, they don't have a long, 
a long enough lifespan, not like, like you know, mongrels and that and crossbreeds, they, they seem to live longer. And says, oh, I'm not getting another dog. Oh, we're too old. Oh. And they get heartbroken about it and all that. I'm not surprised, like, they're treated like a bloody little baby. You know what I mean? Oh, molly coddling it. And, I mean, never had proper dog food, you know. Never. It's all sausages and whatever they had. Sunday dinners mushed up and bloody stuff like that. You give it dog food, it fucking turn its nose up. Mm. That was like how me mum treats dogs and John, me stepdad. But now, guess what? Ho oh, ho! They've got another. They've got another dog now. Oh, Why? A fucking Shih Tzu, no less. What the fuck? Cost them hundreds. It did. Down fucking Blackpool and all. Fucking Shih Tzu. You know what I mean? So. Mmm, they got another one in the end, didn't they? It's like, what's going to happen when this one dies? Or will it outlive them? Mmm. Great, big, massive, gigantic, enormous, huge, whopping, immense question there remains. Above our heads, just like a big black cloud. But never mind, I'm not bothered. They can get on with it. Mmm. They can have as many dogs as they want in there. Now I deal with me. Because <clears throat> I've got a nice little cat here, and um, yeah, she must be about fifteen, about something now. She has to be. I've had her like for since. Hold on a minute. Mm, Two thousand and one, I got her, and she was about three years old then. So, hmm, interesting. She might be younger then. <laughs> so it doesn't act like a bloody 15-year-old cat. Say hello again. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> Go on then. Anyway, hammerheads. I'm off now. <coughs> See the bloody cat here? I'm going to cut another leg off. Or make a curry with it. Goodbye, hammerheads. Bye.